This Halloween tutorial was created to represent the beautiful birds that live in our tropical rainforests across the world. To start out, I'm not naked, I'm wearing a shirt, and I'm just grabbing a headband to remove any hair from my face. And of course I'm starting out with clean skin, and I'm taking my Ben Nye Cream Color Palette, and I'm first picking up this blue color. I'm going to use that to contour the edges of my nose, tucking my piercing in first, and then proceed to contour my nose, and this is sort of going to represent the beak part of a bird. I also decided to drag it up into my brows and sort of flick out um, little shapes of that blue color to sort of represent the imitation of feathers. I'm now taking this yellow color on another flat shader brush and I'm going to fill in the center of my nose with that, sort of blending it in with the blue color and then filling that in all the way up to my forehead. I decided to just fill in my eyebrows with that blue color entirely as well. Then for the lids, I am going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm just going to fill my lids in with that and flick it out in a very dragged out wing motion. And I'm going to bring it down also a little to the sides of my nose. And then I'm going to just blend it out with a brush and then further blend it out with my finger to make sure that it's really just pushed into my skin. I'm now taking this NYX Primal Colors Shadow in Hot Pink and I'm taking that on a fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to put that all throughout my crease and really wing it out past the edge of my eyebrow. Once I'm satisfied with the pigmentation of the pink, I am taking another primal color in hot yellow and I'm just going to pack that onto my lid and then blend the colors into each other as seamless as possible. Using a very thin defining brush, I'm picking up the black cream color and I'm going to map out a sort of winged eye shape and I'm focusing the wing much more on the bottom parts of my eyes. I'm just going to clean that up as best as I can and make them look most alike as possible. Then I'm taking some concealer just to cover up any blemishes on my skin or to have an even skin tone with this look. Now that that's done, I am going to take that same blue color and I'm just filling in the outermost part of that sort of winged eye and I just want to make it as clean as possible. Now I'm taking another NYX Primal Color in Hot Yellow and I'm picking that up on a flat shader brush and I'm just going to fill in whatever part is left from that under eye sort of wing creation. Now I am going to take a very thin brush and some red face paint and I am going to create sort of a line just to be a barrier between the blue and the yellow colors and I think that red just makes it look really cool. Now I'm going to take this hot pink primal color and a small stippling brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to contour my whole face with that. I wanted to bring in some pink color because I feel like it just brings more life to this look. So I am contouring all over pretty much my entire face. I'm doing my cheekbones, under my chin, my neck, and my forehead. Here I'm picking up this blue color again and I'm just going to make my sort of brow area a lot more dramatic and bird-like. I'm just flicking some streaks up above my brow towards my forehead and hairline and I just want to make it look super dramatic. Now for some dimension I'm taking a very small detailer brush and the white face cream and I'm going to create little tiny streaks. I'm using a very light hand to make it look like feathers as much as possible. 
To focus on the nose a bit, I am just taking that same white face paint and I'm going right outside the blue line and just painting the rest of my nose white. And then after that, I'm going to take this hot orange NYX Primal eyeshadow and an angled blending brush and I'm just going to go on the inside of that blue line just to sort of blend the yellow and the blue together and then I am taking that onto my forehead. I'm going to use some very flicking sort of strokes with this just to make it look once again more feather like and then I wanted some more detail so I'm taking a flatter detailer brush and that same orange shadow and just going over there and I love the contrast between the orange and yellow and the blue and white for more detail I am taking the white face paint again and I am just putting some more feather like strokes on the perimeters of my face I'm using that white paint again to sort of brighten right under that sort of winged eyeliner that I created. And then I'm gonna blend out the edges with my finger. Moving on to the lips, I'm taking this yellow color and I'm just going to fill in my entire lip area with that. Once I'm done filling that in with the yellow, I'm gonna take um, a primal hot orange color and I'm just taking a shader brush and blending that into the center of my lip to sort of create this ombre sunset inspired lip. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is picking up that same blue color and I'm going to be working on my neck and my body. I am dragging this blue line right next to where I contoured with that pink eyeshadow and I am just flicking out feather looking things on my entire body and neck. I just really want it to look like I'm covered in feathers. So you'll see me do this throughout my entire shoulder and chest area. First I'm doing that with the blue cream color and then I'm going to go in with the yellow and then with the white. To complete this look and really make it what it is, I'm taking my feather eyelashes from Eyes, Lips, Face that I got online and I am just applying those and that just really completes the look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to get super creative because it's Halloween. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye!